Hey guys, we're gonna do something a little bit different for today's Tuesday news video. I am with uh, Dane Golden and Jeremy Best from VidPal and Octoly, and we every week, what does the podcast go up on? Sometimes. Wednesdays. Wednesdays, Mostly. we do a, um, a podcast called Tube Talk. And so what we're gonna do right now is kind of film it for you guys. You see the raw, unedited, behind the scenes, what we do. But for today, we're gonna to talk about a lot of the news updates and things that happened or announced here at VidCon uh, recently and talk about our opinions about them. So, Dane, you wanna get us started with our podcast recording? The link to it is in the description below if you wanna to subscribe to Tube Talk and uh, get our weekly podcast. So, here's how our intro goes. It's time for Tube Talk, everyone's favorite podcast for YouTube tips. This is episode something something. <laughs> 70. 70. Seven, I don't think so. 70. 80. 80. Uh, for, it's a, it's a new episode. Uh, 80. For, uh, I it's guess sweet. it's Ju July 25th, let's say, 2015. <clears throat> this is Tim Schmoyer. Hello, guys. Good the to be with you again. author of 30 Days to a Better YouTube Channel. Good job. And Jeremy Vest, est, 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 <laughs> from VidPow. Um, our topic today is VidCon, and we're also recording this live on Tim's channel. So check out the Video, Re Video Creators channel for what we look like. Um, <laughs> you so see us all <laughs> so what, uh, what are we going to talk about today, Tim? Uh, well, Jeremy, you got a couple of notes here. We, Susan Wojcicki, who's the CEO of YouTube, did a presentation yesterday. Susan yeah. Wojcicki. Wojcicki. That's a fun word to say. I like that word. I'm going to say Susan G. Susan G. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, a lot of new updates and stats. What are some of the stats that she talked about? Yeah, one of the things she said is uh, there's now one billion unique visit view of. Uh, Accounts. Viewers, viewers. Oh, viewers yeah. accounts on YouTube now, which is pretty insane. A billion. There's only what seven billion people in the world. Yeah. And a billion of them are, are hanging out on YouTube. That's yeah. pretty insane. That's a lot. Uh, another thing she was talking about is there is sixty percent increase in time watch uh, in the last year. What do you guys think about that? Well, yeah, I think that's due to a lot of like the related people getting smarter with related videos, yeah. and so like the viewing sessions are increasing because people like you are doing awesome stuff with thumbnails and increasing session time. And they're essentially accomplishing their goals. What they set out to do is say, we value watch time, and that's not just duration of one video, but it's the duration through, from video to video. Their goal is to keep people on their site there long, as long as possible, and what they're saying is, we're accomplishing our goal. I think it also says something maybe the quality of the content that's being uploaded, because it's more, uh, uh, I don't want to say professional necessarily, but it's more um, like human. I would almost more, say curated. Yeah, there's better um, interaction between people and people are getting more used to it. So that probably has something to do with like the, the value that's being presented on YouTube. is probably greater now than it was maybe five years ago. I think a big part of that is because YouTube basically said the most... The, the, the most important metric of getting found on YouTube is how long someone watches your video. And really what that do, did is it took a lot of people that were doing kind of bad, scummy stuff on YouTube and threw them out like of the algorithm. And people that actually make content people want to watch are ranking higher. And I think it literally increased the entire industry's value and quality. Yeah. More than half views are now coming from what? Mobile. Mobile. Shocker. Mobile. <laughs> mobile. Mobile. She said, how many times did yeah, she say she mobile? A lot, yeah. So the future of YouTube is mobile. They are now a mobile company. She said that. Yep, she yeah. said we're a mobile company. And, and did she say mobile first or mobile company? Mobile company. Mobile she company, said. yeah. And they announced, the, are you getting to the apps that they announced or, or have been talking about? I haven't got that yet, but go ahead. <laughs> well, we know about the YouTube Kids uh, app. That was, that was launched. They are relaunching uh, the um, the YouTube. What is it? The Creators app. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, she showed she showed some uh, screenshots of what that will look like, and it really emphasizes the people you are subscribed to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit better looking, uh, even just it, from it the screen, nice. screenshots. And then coming up, which has been a big announcement, is YouTube Gaming, which is I perceived it as as just a overlay, much like YouTube Kids was of the gaming content that's currently there. It's not like you're gonna have separate views for no. gaming. I mean, you may get that separately in the analytics, 
but um, it's the same video, just with a different front on it, right. and uh, that's going to be in an app. There's a different UI, I think, right? Because they're going to have like a section for the live streaming stuff, kind of like a Twitch type of feel of things that they're going for. Then like the most top curated videos for each video game. So if you just want to watch Call of Duty, you can just get in just Call of Duty stuff. Well, they would not have done this without uh, Twitch's huge movement. So if you guys are just YouTube people and not knowledgeable about Twitch, that is a live streaming platform it's for... That's a video only type of move. That's like I show up in the podcast. You know, this is... I, don't, underestimate, don't underestimate how important this move with their gaming really is. Um, they, they took their 12-step process to live stream um, in the gaming app to three steps. And that's a really big deal because Twitch is easy. YouTube never has been for live streaming. So I, I see with the billion users and a lot of gamers, I absolutely see them about to, to take some serious market share from Twitch. It's a pretty so the big game deal. is on for live streaming uh, gaming content. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. I like I like your play on words again. <laughs> there, that's, that's like. And you know, I, I think this is we're going to see this for for beauty and fashion and brands. I think there's going to be apps specific to verticals and how those verticals use software. And and I really believe when she said we're going to be a, a mobile company, I I, I think it's going to get very very fragmented very quickly. In a oh, good way or a bad way? I don't know. Well, because part of me is like, well, if you're just watching the beauty stuff, then you're not going to see any of the gaming stuff you're subscribed to or the family stuff you're subscribed to. Do you to. really think that there's a lot of crossover in that? I mean, with your channels, you're promoting both your family channel and your YouTube uh, creator-focused channel, but it's based around your personality. I don't know. There's some, well, but not a lot of beauty creators yeah. that are in gaming as well. I, I watch a lot of... Um, family videos yeah but I also watch like news channels like I get my primary source for news is like Vice News is it really source for Fed. I maybe I should be saying this out loud but like uh, I personally have a high distrust level for traditional news media because okay. I've seen them live a lot so um, so I like citizen journalism a little bit better okay. so but I can see how like news and family stuff could be two different apps absolutely maybe. You know, and so that would isolate me. I would have to go back to my my main YouTube app and just go through my subscriptions there to just get all of it. Well, know? don't uh, um, underestimate also that they are going after, uh, uh, I would call it shelf space on your phone. The more apps you have that are YouTube oriented, the less room you have for other apps. Yes, right. sure too. And I would hope it would be like a tabbing system news, you know, like what iTunes have, has done. Obviously, if you have 10 apps on YouTube, I think that's pretty silly and, and very immature from an app perspective. So I would hope you could add on news and gaming and kids and, you know. And now so. we're just talking like an old school subscription system. Exactly. <laughs> It's like iTunes. Now, we saw other uh, news, Jeremy, of uh, like number of hours uploaded has gone up per minute or something. Yeah, so 400 hours are uploaded to YouTube every minute now. Just think about how much data that's creating. It's, it's mind-blowing. I'm taking like at least 20 minutes of it right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of content. Music key beta, they talked a little bit about that. Right. Is revamping, um, which... Most people don't actually realize that the biggest provider of online music is YouTube, not Pandora, not iTunes. And, and most people don't associate music, but they play it. And so it's the number one category on YouTube. I wanted to note also that I'm, I'm, I'm doing some uh, audio recording. On the audio version of this, we're going to have some audio interviews with newsmakers and industry people that we'll just tack on to the end of the audio portion of this, and uh, I think they're pretty interesting, just their impression. So stay tuned at the end of the podcast. Awesome. Well, about 50% of people are making more money now? That's what I heard, yeah. 50, How much more money? Well, they said 50% of, uh, pe pe there's a 50% increase of people making six figures on YouTube in the last year. You think that's true? I think it's, I, I think it's, they would be lying, but I mean. <laughs> Have you seen that in your experience? Absolutely. I, I've yeah. seen a lot of growth in, in, in them working with creators to get a better CPM. Mm -hmm. and, and with that, I'm guessing they're able to, you know, to do better. Yeah. I mean, in my experience, I was actually thinking that number would be higher. Just based on what I saw like a few years ago, the number of people I know personally and have helped personally like get beyond six figures a year just from AdSense. 
uh, it doesn't really seem that hard to me anymore. Like I know. So that's, you personally have helped people oh, get yeah. beyond six figures. That's a uh, hundred thousand dollars per year easily. in average. You've helped people do Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Yeah. I that's worked amazing. with my channel last year. No channel at all. They just came to me like, hey, I just need to make money because I lost my job. How do I do this on YouTube? So, make a short, long story short for you. Um, after nine months of, um, I told him what to do. He took it. He just he killed it. He's making fifteen grand after nine months. You mean in per a month? month. Yeah, fifteen thousand dollars per month. And now that's not uh, is that six figures. It's close. But now I just talked Much to him more, like actually. last yeah. weekend. He's making thirty grand, and in two thousand sixteen, this is like he just started his channel like a little over a year ago. At this point, are we able to say what the channel is? Uh, I think so. But I should ask him first. Okay. So anyway, if you want to make six figures, not more he's, than hundred thousand, talk to Tim Schmoyer. That's video creator. He's gonna make one million in two thousand sixteen. Just in that sense. That's amazing. Well, he just started saying, so that's what I'm saying. Like, he's not the only story. I can tell you other stories too. Uh, so how to do that and how it works. I mean, that's another podcast for another time. But um, I think that number is totally good. And I'd say that to hopefully encourage you guys and give you guys hope, who, those of you who are, who are creators, and you're kind of like, oh, I just need more money to support my, you know, what, I, what you believe in and what you're passionate about, what, you know, the message that you're trying to spread on YouTube that changes lives. And uh, I think like it's easier now than it ever was before. I think the, the real opportunity there is in partnerships and brands. I think you're, you know, obviously you, you, you don't want to rely on one company to get your income. So you still need to make a website and you still need to make your own branding. And I think there's more opportunity there. But I do think it's exciting that YouTube's starting to understand that the competition is serious about helping video creators make money. And it's, it's exciting to see YouTube starting to take a turn in that direction. Yeah. I, I also want to note that it's not just this top-heavy over 100,000. No. I would envision, although no one's saying, that it's more like a pyramid where you have some people are way up here with a lot of money, but there's a lot of people in various other levels who are doing yes. quite well. There's not a direct correlation to how number, the number of subscribers you have and how much money you make. Right. Because YouTube pays you for ad impressions and ad engagement, right? So certain audiences interact with ads differently. And, um, and some, like the channel that I'm talking, they don't even care about subscribers. Like the one, the guy who's gonna make um, seven um, figures next year, uh, he currently has uh, 70,000 subscribers or something. That's fantastic. But he doesn't care about subscribers, he just cares about views, and so he's doing, you know, uh, I don't know, 20 million views a month or something right now. It's incredible. Like so, yeah, so Good it's definitely him. possible. I hope that encourages you guys um, to uh, what you're doing with your channels. Awesome. Well, we're here from VidCon, and until tech next week, keep talking to. <laughs> and subscribe if this is your first time here to Video Creators. We'd love to have you. Every Tuesday we do videos just like this to help you grow your audiences and your YouTube channels so that your message spreads and reaches the people whose lives need to be changed by the message that you're sharing. So thank you for hanging out with us. Check out these guys. The link to the full podcast every week is in the description below. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.